The topic of this presentation is frost heaving. In turf, we often observe heaving in late winter and early spring during periods of freezing and thawing. In attempting to describe frost heaving, I thought I would mention a suitable comparison, something quite familiar to many of you, that being potholes. This picture was taken in the parking lot outside of Cotman Hall here on campus. I can't tell you how many rims and tires I have replaced over the years. The occurrence of frost heaving of turf is similar to pothole formation. In soils, an ice layer begins to form just below the frozen soil layer. At the interface where water is a mixture of frozen and liquid, the ice layer grows by water freezing and pushing upward, forcing the soil above the ice upward too. Ice growth requires a water supply that is delivered to the freezing front via capillary action. The weight of the overlying soil restrains vertical ice growth, promoting the formation of a more lens-shaped area of ice within the soil. The soil through which water passes to feed the formation of ice lenses must be sufficiently porous to allow capillary action, yet not so porous as to break capillary continuity. Such soils are referred to as frost susceptible. Soils that are silty or loamy are considered frost susceptible soils. With potholes, the freezing water at the freeze front can cause cracks or craters in asphalt surfaces. Frost heaving can vary in its severity. For most of the Midwest, frost heaving might be of minor importance. Practices like rolling or lightly rolling might be done to smooth or push the turf back down in contact with the soil. In most situations, the turf is often just allowed to settle on its own. In the following section of this module, the video states a few practices for minor frost heaving on golf courses. In regions like northern New England and Canada, for example, extreme frost heaving can occur, maybe analogous to a large potholes like this one shown here. This is Keller Golf Club in Iceland where extreme turf frost heaving can potentially occur. The superintendent is Mr. Barney Hannison, who sent me these photographs of frost heaving. Barney received his agronomy degrees in England and then came here to study through the Ohio, Ohio State International Intern Program. In this picture, he is standing on turf areas that have undergone heaving on his golf course. He told me that the heaving shown here he would consider moderate in nature. Here is a more extreme heaving situation on his course. The girls who are serving as a reference in this photograph are Barney's twin daughters. The mounding is due to the freezing ice growing upwards in a lens-shaped formation. The heaving here looks to exceed over a foot. This is the same fairway area a little later in the season. And this is a picture taken in the fall. In this case, the soil is allowed to resettle on its own. Sometimes they will roll, but often like in this case, they allow for natural settling. Notice a differential settling results in potted or cratered look to the fairway. It has always struck me how natural events in many geographical areas seem minor in nature like frost heaving around Columbus maybe, but often are extreme events somewhere else. 